for cancer patients who have tested positive for COVID, are there notable consistencies of, you know, amongst that group of people? And have we learned anything from those patients yet about maybe their chances of getting it more or their reaction to it? We know that, you know, there's a wide spectrum of reaction to the vaccine. The majority of the people would not notice any symptoms related to that, except for some pain at the injection site. Now, there are some number of people who might have more, uh, uh, in, you know, just myalgia, you know, muscle pains, just feeling fatigue, some low-grade fevers, just feeling blah for 24 to 48 hours, and it seems to be not too uncommon. Um, the reactions to the vaccine in terms of the side effects or the symptoms, there doesn't appear to be much of a difference between cancer patients um, and, or, um, you know, and normal individuals. Uh, now, in terms of the, the efficacy of vaccinations, there's going to be wide variation in terms of how strong an immune response one might develop against vaccines. We know from um, not necessarily the COVID vaccine, but the vaccinations that have been used in the past, whether it be you know, flu vaccines or pneumococcal vaccines that we all um, get, um, patients with cancer or patients going through treatment for cancer that can suppress your immune system tend to have a lower response, but again, that varies quite widely from patient to patient. Now, um, there are some um, vaccines where we can clearly look at the antibody response and say, oh, this is not adequate and we need to maybe give an extra shot. We just don't have that information for uh, COVID vaccines yet. Um, so the way I would look at it is, even though the response in a given person might be less than what we eventually would identify to be optimal, it's likely to be better than not having the vaccine. So I would encourage obviously everybody to get the vaccine. Now, what about someone who has already had an infection? Um, would we be, uh, would their response, you know, should we vaccinate those people? We certainly should. Um, again, we don't know the immunity from a natural infection how long would that last? You know, that is still something that is unknown. And a vaccination dose is likely to make the responses um, more, you know, more relevant um, and more durable. So I would, we would recommend the vaccines for everyone. We don't think one vaccine is any different than another in terms of your underlying cancer or lack thereof. Um, so um, in terms of assessing for the antibodies, there is no clear guidelines in terms of what one should anticipate from the vaccine. So there is really no way to say, you know, check the antibody and say, can't go ahead and get one more dose or you're fully vaccinated. Um, so I think the bottom line is get the vaccine. We don't need to um, necessarily test for a response and then we continue with the, the usual um, uh, measures for prevention.